Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Travel Forge. So I put up a video about freeze drying bananas. I freeze dried 32 bananas across the four trays of my medium harvest right freeze dryer. Those four trays of 32 bananas fit into two quart jars. So those two quart jars are gonna allow me to one, save a ton of freezer space because that came out of eight quart bags from the freezer. So I'm trying to make space for a half a steer that we'd like to get in like maybe late winter or so. So one of my goals this winter is to work through that stuff. As we do the pantry challenge with Three Rivers Homestead, that'll really help with that goal. But anyway, I freeze dried those bananas. Two quarts of banana powder will now allow me to make eight loaves of banana bread or 96 muffins, which is pretty wild. So when I did this, I didn't pre-freeze my bananas. I almost always pre-freeze, but I just wanted to get them in and get it done. And it was fine. I didn't have to rerun the powder or anything as I show in that video. It freeze dried just fine, but I did have a couple things happen that I wanna show you. All right, so if you're in any freeze drying groups, you've probably seen this before, especially if people do something really sugary like juice, um, they'll get explosions like this on their door. Mine was pretty mild. I've only ever had this happen one other time when I did grape juice, grape juice that was not frozen solid. But you can see the aftermath of me not pre-freezing. And I'm not saying you have to pre-freeze every single time. But if you have something that is sugary, it seems to, and I say sugary like the natural sugar in bananas, this seems to happen. I'm not saying this would happen every time if you don't pre-freeze. I tend to pre-freeze because then I'm not running my machine just to do freezing. My freezers are already running, so I might as well just let the freezer do the work. Um, I've showed you the rack that I use to put my trays on before, but I'll show you what that looks like. Right now I have some peppers and chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna try freeze drying chocolate chip cookies. Stay tuned for that. I thought we got this hand crank ice cream machine at the thrift store for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks, I forget. And I thought this would be a really fun topping for that. So anyway, this is the rack that I have. It's from Frozen Right. I can link it in the description. Um, it holds four trays because mine holds four trays. If you buy a medium now, it will probably have five trays, which would be super fun. I would love to have that extra tray, but good for you if you get it now and you get that extra tray. That's awesome. So something else cool I want to show you is look how much water came out of those bananas. So before I pull this out of here, typically like this whole drum would be covered in ice that was pulled, you know, water that was pulled out of your food. So these obviously when I pulled the rack out, like these all fell, but these are like crazy big. I, I just, it's just always amazing to me how much water comes out. So because this happened, this is always a good reminder to me to clean my, the rack in my freeze dryer. I probably should clean it more than I do. I wipe the door, the gasket that's on the door. I wipe that pretty often because that can affect your seal. I'm not super diligent about wiping out the trays and inside the drum and all of that. So I just wanted to show you what might happen if you don't pre-freeze, show you how cool it is, how much water comes out of this. Um, as I've mentioned before, freeze-dried food is good up to 25 years if you store it properly in a Mylar bag. Sorry, I'm still fighting this like I had this cold cough nonsense that's been going on for like two weeks. Feeling much better, but still sound a little ridiculous. Anyway, if you store properly in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber or multiple oxygen absorbers, depending on how big the bag is, um, it can store up to 25 years. The powder that I did, I'm just storing in a mason jar in the pantry because I know we're gonna use that up this winter. I may take some of this banana powder that I do with the rest of the bananas in our freezer because I probably have another 30 or 40 bags of bananas in the freezer that I'm trying to work through. I might throw some of those in long-term storage. Um, we could use them for smoothies or in yogurt or anything like that. So these two jars are just gonna sit on the pantry shelf. As I've mentioned in the past, I don't put oxygen absorbers or moisture absorbers or vacuum seal my jars that go into the pantry. I know we're gonna use them within a year. I've had some things on the shelf for two years without any extra precaution short of like a tight sealing lid. And it's always been fine. I've had like one powder over the last couple years that's gotten hard. And it's not that it wasn't usable. We just like, it wasn't a nice powder. So. This is what could happen. Um, 
always encourage people to get a freeze dryer. I have more and more friends that are starting to get freeze dryers, which is really exciting because um, it's just fun to like bounce ideas off of each other and come up with cool things that you can do to freeze dry, to prevent food waste, to put more food away for your family. So if you have questions about the Harvest Right freeze dryer, let me know. I'll put our affiliate link in the description. As always, if you buy a freeze dryer through our affiliate link, we get a small portion of that and our family's always super excited to see those little bonuses come through. Always a blessing. So if you have questions about any of this kind of stuff, let me know. We'll see you next time.